Life with Ben, only on PTV. When I woke up today, I had no idea that I'd be in the backseat of Arnie and Duck's car and headed to Santa Rosa. We're going for apples. Arnie, Doug, how long have you been making your apple pie jam? 2010. 10 years. Wow. I, I didn't realize you had that recipe developed 10 years ago. That's a long time. It was the best that first year, but we worked on the recipe to get the flavor profile just right. Now it tastes just like eating an apple pie without crust. And what kind of apples make it so special? Gravenstein apples. We can only get those in Sonoma County. That's the only place where they grow? Here in California, that's the only place they grow them right now, yeah. I've had this jam, everyone, and it's worth the drive. We've been in the car for about half an hour already, and right now we are driving right by a Six Flags Park, which is still closed here in California. This is Discovery Kingdom, which used to be what was it? Right. Not only are we dealing with the pandemic right now, to keep this amusement park closed, it's also really, really smoky out here from all the California wildfires that were sparked this past week from lightning, which rarely happens in Northern California. been in the car now for about an hour and oh my gosh I'm already ready to get out of this thing but we've got about another half hour to go we're gonna power through and get right up to Santa Rosa so we can get the apples we're in the heart of Sonoma County here everyone we're just getting on the freeway in the city of Petaluma Petaluma was once the home of the world arm wrestling championship is it still here probably so I wouldn't know. I just remember that from reading Peanuts comic strips. Yes, yeah, Snoopy travels here. But we're headed to Santa Rosa, which is about 15 to 20 miles from here. We're not that far. Petaluma is also known for... Um, and eggs. Oh, and eggs. Doug and Arnie say it's known for eggs. But this is Highway 101. The same 101 that goes all the way through Los Angeles. Just one long highway. At this point, I'd say we're about 10 minutes from where we're going. Would you say? Maybe yeah, a little 10. less? Oh, about 10. And we're not necessarily going to an apple orchard, we're going to a farmer's market, which opened at what, 9 a.m. this morning? And it's open for about another hour and 15 minutes. So we're gonna make it, just make it. But that's where we're gonna be getting our apples. Hopefully they have enough for us. Do you think they will? Yeah, I think so. This particular farmer's market is offering apples from the farm where we usually get our apples. We get them from one specific farmer, Walker Apples. What, about 60 pounds we're getting? About 50, 60 pounds of apples, yeah. This is our exit. We're coming up to River Road at Luther Burbank Center for the Arts. Farmer's Market. Look at that. There are a lot of tents out there. Nice. So we're here at the farmer's market looking for the stand that sells the apples that Arnie and Doug want. We're gonna have to go over to another side, I guess. What's this? Oh, Sebastopol Berry Farm. Mm, berries. I smell them. I definitely smell them. Aha! Uh -huh. Walker apples, and here we are. Okay, look at this. We don't have much left. Yeah, I got a few left. Okay. How much you want? A couple of boxes. Okay. Sold. This is the first box. This room takes with the last day. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a very long. No, no, no. Oh, no. We know these don't have a long shelf life. Well, they've been going out the door faster than we can Good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sue. Thank you so much. You're welcome. No problem. We'll be back. 
back again. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks. Okay, it's 12 o'clock and we have what, about 50 or 60 pounds of apples here? 60 pounds of apples. That's amazing. 60 pounds of Gravenstein apples from Sonoma County. And most of these apples will be processed and turned into apple pie jam. You might make a pie or two, right? We might make a pie. We might be doing a couple of desserts. Yeah. Mmm. And here's Doug. Just loaded them into the car and now we're ready to go. Now that we have the apples, Doug has said that he wants to get a spice that is in a shop here in Santa Rosa that he likes to use for roasted vegetables. What's it called, Doug? Paris Blend. It's Penzi's Spice Shop. They're, they're all over the place. Like, they're in the, yeah, and you can mail order it too. But I, since we're here, and we're eight miles away, let's just pick it up. In so, the Bay Area, they don't have any locations. Oh, they're far away. we're off to Penzi's. Where's Penzi's? Penzi's is over here. And we're here. So we're sitting out here in front of Penzi Spices and the store says here the store is closed. However, we were able to make a phone call. There is an employee inside and we just placed an order over the phone, old fashioned wise. So I'm gonna go out there and pick it up. here got the receipt and I'm not gonna lie with me not even being a cook it looks like a really interesting store inside so I really hope it opens soon so I can come back with Arnie and Doug and go shopping Now we're looking for a Target to go to so I can get some gift cards to get some lunch. And I have no idea what we used to do without GPS. We'd be so lost right now. All right, we're just looking for parking now. If Minnie Winnie can get out of the way. Drive, 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 drive. Is that the line to get into Trader Joe's? Yes. There's always a line to get into Trader Joe's these days. Trader Joe's. And then here's Bevmo up here on the left. We don't, do we need booze? Always. Oh, we always need booze. Oh yeah, this is Target. You can tell by the, the shopping cart things. And... All right, we're parked. We're going to Target. And I don't think we've ever been to this one because we're in the North Bay and we never come up here. Do we want the steeple side or do we want that side? We'll go over to the look. They're both open. Let's go in. Right, there is no lack of sanitizer here. Wow. We're still in the hunt for pumpkin spice stuff, but Arnie's finding some pumpkin cookies here. Anything else? Uh, keep looking. Anything in here, Doug? Sometimes they have Thomas gets their, um, pumpkin spice bagels or something. Yeah. I haven't seen them yet. Nope, not yet. Oops. We just rang out our purchase, but we didn't find the gift cards that we wanted. They were out of stock here. So we're just gonna go get lunch anyway. Interesting, we actually found some hand sanitizing wipes in the store. That shocked me. It made the stop worth it. You guys ready for lunch? Yes. Let's go geek. We just did a pre-order for some Chick-fil-A for lunch. Now I just have to go to the pickup area, wherever that is, and get our lunch. But now I have to figure out where it is. I figured out the pickup process. Now I'm just waiting for the food. We just parked so we could eat our lunch. We're eating in the Corolla cafeteria, or the Corolla dining room, as Arnie and Doug have been calling it. Doug got a grilled chicken club, and Arnie and I got spicy chicken sandwiches, and I could not be happier right now. I'm gonna eat.
We got home and unloaded the car, and these are the two boxes of apples that Arnie and Doug will be processing to use for jam, pies, what have you. Doug, what did you say? Apple fritter what? Apple fritter coffee cake. That sounds delicious too. There's lots of things you can do with apples. Remember, adventure is out there. <laughs>